Today's soldering tip will be on removal of plated through hole flat leads. What we'll be removing is a 16 pin dip. And you can see the flat leads front and back. And what we're going to be using today will be the Metcal desoldering gun with an STDC 804 tip key thing on desoldering, whether it's flat or round leads, is the aperture of the hole. Again, it's the right tool for the right job. Because I know if I apply heat to this side, it will heat up instantaneously. What I'm looking for is to heat up on the back side over here. What I'm looking for is if I apply a hot air or a desoldering gun on this side, what I'm going to do is to watch this side heat up. Once this side heats up here, I can go into a desoldering mode. Now with flat leads, we're going to move back and forth. First thing I want to do is I clean off my tip into the center of the hole, go to the outer edge, and clean it. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of solder to the end of my tip. Come over the lead, back and forth, hit vacuum, come off skip around because you don't want to do one right after the other you'll create a heat buildup come down over it up and down vacuum come off and if you notice on the component side of the board you will see the lead move a solder being extracted now what I recommend is after each and every one of them that you wait three seconds before turning it off due to the fact is possibly you could clog up your gun and you don't want to do that either back and forth see how easy this is if you do everything right and then we have one more on this side come off put a little solder on the end of your tip stick it back into the stand now the next thing that you might want to do is grab an orange wood stick and push on your component leads on the bottom side all in the same direction what you're doing is breaking the sweat joints push back and if you pay, listen really close you hear a clicking noise hear that clicking noise that means you've broken the sweat joint be very careful now what I do is I put my orange wood stick up underneath and see how it moves freely. Okay, that side's desoldered. Come on top of the lead, back and forth, come off. Remember, skip around. Don't create that heat build up. Now if you go too soon on your desoldering, it could cool down the hole. And we don't want that to happen now, do we? Last one. Up and down. Vacuum. Come off. Now, make sure that you hold the board a little bit away from the table. Because remember, there's leads over there. And if you push down with this on the tabletop, guess what's going to happen? That's right. You're going to bend the leads, and then you're going to try to pry it out, and it's not going to come out that easy. Oh, did you hear that popping noise? You saw a little bit of movement. If you do everything right, it should come out nice and easy like that. A little bit of alcohol on an acid brush. Circular motion, nice and evenly. Flip it over. Do the same thing over there. See if we did any damage. Nice and pretty on this side. Let's see on this side. No damage there either. So we've done a successful desoldering of flat leads. I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Norman, and I work for Best Incorporated. Thank you, and have a nice day.